Good morning, everyone. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my quarterly favorites. I don't do these every month because I feel like I don't have enough products to talk about, nor do I wanna just grab stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the products and things I have been loving recently. And I've also challenged myself in this video because um, I only picked one product or thing for each category, so I could really tell you what's been my favorite. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So category number one that we're gonna be talking about is actually a skincare favorite. And now you guys know, I try skincare out constantly. Things are evolving and changing and technology is different. I find myself trying a lot of skincare and it is kind of my job. But one of these skincare products that I've really been loving recently is from a brand called Volition Beauty. This is their Strawberry Sea Serum. And I have been using this for about three weeks now and I've thoroughly been enjoying this. So to get into this brand a little bit, Volition Beauty, how they create their products is that they community source the ideas for the products meaning that they gauge the interests and needs of consumers, and then they go in and do the R&D and create the products that we actually need. So this is actually a vitamin C serum, and the reason that I was really excited to see this is because this is kind of a different vitamin C serum in the sense that this is a strawberry-based vitamin C serum. This actually has strawberries, seeds, and actual strawberries, extracts, <laughs> infused in this product. Now the actual form of vitamin C in this is a form of ascorbic acid which is a vitamin C derivative which is actually more stable than other forms of vitamin C. And this also has hyaluronic acid and other soothing ingredients which is going to also complement the vitamin C in this product. Now going into the benefits of vitamin C just a little bit, if you're not using it in your routine, you really need to get your hands on some type or form of vitamin C product. Now while vitamin C has a full laundry list of benefits including helping fight free radicals it helps kind of reverse the damage from environmental factors like radiation pollution um, smoke anything that could be causing damage on the skin it also helps with collagen biosynthesis and on top of that what I think most people go for when they're looking at a vitamin C product is it helps with pigmentation issues so essentially vitamin C helps break up the melanin that forms in the skin and usually that melanin exhibits itself in the form of dark spots, hyperpigmentation. Vitamin C is one of the ingredients that can help with it. And like I said, this has the strawberry vitamin C in it, which has 14% higher vitamin C concentrations than citrus. And also, just talking about my experience using this on my skin, I absolutely love this serum specifically because the texture of this is a very light texture. I would actually compare this more to a watery form of serum. Just my skin type in general, it tends to do better with lighter layers and higher volume of those lighter layers. But if you guys are curious about Volition Beauty in general or you guys want to pick up this product, you can pick it up at Volition beauty.com and I know they're also available at Sephora so I will put all those links in the description box below. So naturally I'm gonna move on to my favorite makeup product that I've been using recently and it is actually from Maybelline. Now this is their Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. This specifically is in the shade Molten Rose Gold. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now and also the tip of my nose. And I feel a little guilty talking about this because you guys know my tried and true favorite highlighters for years are the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighters. But you guys, I find myself reaching for this more often than the Tarte ones. And this is just literally the beam of highlight. I love to wear, I personally really love a frosty highlight. So this just suits my fancy very well. And I also appreciate the color of this since it does have a bit of that rosier hue. It complements a lot of my blushes that I gravitate towards. Just to show you guys, oh, <laughs> it is really buttery and a very beautiful, Highlight. If you guys see this at the drugstore, I definitely recommend picking it up. It is an amazing highlight. And I know this comes in different colors. I have the colors actually, I just haven't tried it yet because I like this one so much. <laughs> so yeah, that's been another favorite of mine. Now this is from a brand called Maremo. This is their Revitalizing Hair Tonic. <laughs> this is a Korean beauty brand and I actually started using this as part of a whole Korean hair care routine. It's a kit that's now available, I believe, at Costco. This guy here, um, a good hair day of Seoul. I got this about a month ago and I'm actually gonna be doing a full review talking about the routine, the products in the kit, my experience using them. And this contains ingredients like menthol, which is going to be tingly, invigorate the scalp. It's also going to kind of increase blood circulation because it does have that sensation. And it's also salicylic acid, so this is going to gently exfoliate the scalp as well, which is something that I appreciate. And 
I have always been an advocate of thinking that the skin on your head, aka the scalp, is just as important as the skin on your face. And I find that this has been really nice to just soothe my scalp. I'm very liberal when I spray this onto my scalp and it doesn't leave a residue whatsoever, which I'm always pleasantly surprised with. So yeah, I'll definitely get into reviewing the rest of that routine for you guys. Like I said, I got it about a month ago, so I've been using the routine for a month, but I just wanted to thoroughly test the products before I share them with you guys. So definitely keep an eye out for that video in the next upcoming couple of weeks. Okay, my fragrance, fragrance. <laughs> Fragrance <laughs> is this guy here. So this is from Lancome. This is the La Vie Belle. I actually got this as a birthday gift from my parents back in October. So I've been using it daily since, and you can see how little of the perfume I've actually used. Now, the reason for that is because this, I kid you not, is the most potent, highly fragranced perfume I have ever used. And I love luxury fragrances. One of my long standing favorites is actually the Chanel Eau de Fresh. I literally spray one to two sprays on myself and I can smell it at the end of the day. So I think that speaks a lot to how strong this fragrance is. I'm not very good at describing fragrances in general, so I'm not even gonna attempt to do it. But if you're ever at a Sephora or anywhere where you can kind of smell the fragrances, I would definitely recommend checking this guy out. And besides the fact that this thing is going to last me decades, I know it's kind of a silly thing to talk about, but with perfume, it's usually something you display that you kind of put on your vanity or wherever. And I just love how simple this is. I love the hue of the actual, you know, fragrance itself. I just think this is a beautiful product. Okay, so my favorite accessory as of the past couple months, you've probably seen me wear these like a thousand times and they're these earrings. So these are just an open wire heart-shaped hoop earring. These are from Bobble Bar and I love these because, I, number one, I'm a hoop girl. I always have been a big hoop girl, so anything that kind of resembles a hoop, I usually like. These are very classic and simple. They can go with a nicer look or outfit, but they can also just be worn day to day, which is what I usually do. But like I said, if I'm going to an event or I wanna look nice, I will still go for these. So these are earrings I have been loving. Let me put this back in my ear. We're gonna talk about a game favorite I have been loving for the past couple of months. My sister actually got me this game for Christmas and boy does she know me well because I've been addicted to this game. So this is Ark Survival Evolved. As you can tell from the packaging, I play it on my Nintendo Switch. I am overly obsessed with this game. I have to like incentivize myself to work with this game. So I'll tell myself, okay, if I edit for four hours, I can play my Ark for an hour. So the concept behind this game is you're kind of like stranded on an island where there's dinos and you have to fend for yourself. So you build your own house, you craft your own tools, you tame dinos and make dino pens and dino kibble. This is one of those types of games. There's just endless possibilities with this game. So I am planning on streaming this on my Twitch. If you're not familiar or you didn't know, I do have a Twitch now under the channel name Mogi Bear. I will link that down below as well. I'm actually sitting right next to me. <laughs> I'm still trying to set up my Elgato game capture card. So definitely head over there, give me a follow. I will start streaming probably in the next couple of weeks. Like I said, I'm still setting everything up, but if you guys wanna just follow me over there just to be updated on when I start, I would be really appreciative of that. You guys, we can start an arc together. <laughs> okay, and my last favorite is a lifestyle favorite. Just something that has been bringing me a lot of joy in my life, and that is my, I believe the, the actual um, variety is called Carpeggia Wadai. This is my my poor little string of hearts. So I actually ordered this off of Etsy and when I got it and it arrived at my house, this was in poor shape. I pulled it out of the box and I was like, <gasps> I have been slowly rehabbing this little guy back to health. And actually when I first got it, there was literally no length in growth. So to see that there is like a couple inches of growth, I see new leaves popping up. And I know this is silly, but I'm like really into gardening and planting. So this has been bringing me a lot of joy. I just thought this was really cute, but it's coming back to life. I'm like, live. <laughs> Alright you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this favorites video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you have been enjoying. Whether it's a skincare favorite, a gaming favorite, a lifestyle favorite, I love to hear what you guys have been up to and have been enjoying. And I will link anything I talked about in this video in the description box below if I'm able to find it. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.